Hello and welcome to this training video. In this video I want to demonstrate to you how to create your own recordings to use within the sound plant software that we're focusing on. Firstly, you're going to need to get yourself a microphone. Now some very powerful laptops have inbuilt microphones but all desktop computers and many other laptops don't have them. So grab yourself a microphone from somewhere, plug it into the right socket within your computer and test it to make sure that the computer is actually recognizing that you're talking to it. Once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to use a very simple piece of software called Sound Recorder, which is available on any PC computer. So I'm going to go into my Start menu. I'm going to go to All Programs. I'm going to go up to accessories then to entertainment and there we go there's sound recorder and I've just loaded it up and you can tell how simple this program is just by how small it is really the activity that I've got in mind to create with sound plant is that when individual letters are pressed on the keyboard those letters will just say the name of the letter so I need to create 26 individual sound files for this. The way to start the recording is to press the red button here. A. When you finish your recording, press the black stop button, go to file, and go to save. Now, I did a rehearsal for this earlier which is why I'm replacing a file called A. But you won't you won't have that, so just ignore this message which is on my screen now. Okay, because I want a new recording, I'm going to go back to File. I'm going to go to New. Okay, here we go. Press the red to start the recording. B. And I press the black button again. Now what you notice there and you should notice all the time is that when I speak into my microphone sound this green line on sound recorder moves. Now that should be an important indicator for you that your microphone is working and that the, the piece of software sound recorder is picking it up. I'm going to go back up to the file menu and I'm going to go to save. The other important note point to notice here is where are you what file are you saving your all your voice recordings in make sure firstly that you remember where they are and also that all the files are placed in the same sorry all the sound files are placed within the same location it will just make things much easier for you in the future okay there I go I'm just going to press save for B and I'll do one more letter while the video is running so let's go back up to file. I want to create a new recording. C. Red to start, black to stop. I'm going to go to file, save. The computer automatically takes me back to the same location for saving things. And I'm going to call this C. OK, now I'm going to stop the recording now whilst I'll complete the rest of the sound um, recordings because otherwise it's going to get really dull for you. So we'll be back in a bit when I've completed all the recording. 